All right, everybody, for this video, we're going to be going over how to apply the prevent default method to a form submission. Uh, and this is in CodePen right now, but this will happen anywhere you have um, form fields inside of a form tag. And it, I've got this pen uh, pre-built, and it's a very basic form. Uh, we've got a form with no action in it. Um, we have some labels and inputs for uh, first name and an email address and then a submit button, uh, some very basic styles just to kind of spread it out a little bit. And then all prevent default takes place in JavaScript. So we're going to write an event listener to listen for this, a click on this button here. And um, it will prevent the form from submitting. Currently, if I hit save here, I'm gonna get a bad path, okay? Uh, that's because it's trying to submit it, submit the data somewhere, and it has nowhere to submit it to. So I'm going to refresh this, and we want to prevent that from happening. We want to prevent it so that when I click on this, we want nothing to happen. Okay, and how we do that is first we have to assign an ID to this button here. So ID equals, we'll just call it anything. You can call it whatever you want, okay? And then I'm going to reference that ID down here in JavaScript, form dot, and I'm gonna add an event listener. And then inside that event listener, we are listening for the click, okay? So this event listener is listening for the event of a click on uh, an ID of form submit. And the only thing in the form that has an ID of form submit is our submit button. Then we're gonna build our function, which is basically we're going to tell it what to do uh, when that button is clicked. And in, inside the function, the argument that we're taking in is an event. Now, a lot of times you might see this as just an E um, or event. It can be whatever you want, okay? And then it, it's event, we're gonna reference the event, and then we're going to add the method, prevent default, like that, okay? Now when I hit save and submit, now nothing is going to happen. I could enter anything into here uh, email at email.com. And when I hit submit, now the form isn't going to go anywhere. And it's going to allow you to properly test that form uh, without having to, to worry about having to constantly refresh it or send the data somewhere, uh, even on a live form. If you don't want to add data to your database, you can just add this prevent default method to it and it won't submit your form. It gives you an opportunity to test the form without having to submit the form. So I hope that helps uh, for more videos, more information on JavaScript and various other parts of the web. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.